Hi guys, my name is Omar Farouk. I'm a digital designer, founder, and CEO of Glorify. Did you guys know that over 90% of online shoppers, sorry, 90% of online shoppers attribute a recent purchase due to the quality of a product image more than anything? Unfortunately, however, thousands of e-commerce businesses have really terrible product images just like this and which results in obviously poor amounts of sales. So how come many e-commerce businesses have really poor quality images? Well, that's because most of them start their business as a side hustle. They work with tight budget, end up hiring cheap designers and photographers who just don't understand the importance of strategic design. This is why we created Glorify. Glorify is a cloud-based design software that helps e-commerce businesses generate sales through beautiful product and marketing images. We are similar to the design app Canva, but engineered specifically for e-commerce businesses. It's cost effective, easy to use, and you can take any photo and enhance them and magnify its features. Our thousands of templates are product focused and categorized into niche and themes. And to add to all of this, We've just focused on creating an amazing user experience. Simply take a photo of your product with your smartphone. With just two clicks, remove the background, add it to your favorite template, recolor the whole template with one click with your brand colors, and then finally make a few more customizations as you wish. In a moment, I will demo and show you really how amazing it is. Here's one of our clients' business growth chart. At the exact point the product images were improved, you can see a spike in their sales. What we found through split testing is that improving product images can improve sales from 50 to 100%. As you can see, with a powerful product presentation, Kemal here has been able to attain the bestseller badge on Amazon for his niche. So what is the market size? Well, Canva dominates the market share as a unicorn com company at one billion US dollars. This has given, validated the market and given plenty of room for many other tools to emerge. And this is where we come in. We are the first e-commerce focused design tool and we will dominate this market share. E-commerce alone is projected to hit 4.9 trillion in sales by 2021. And as an example, there's a whopping 5 million sellers on Amazon with 2,900 new sellers joining the platform every single day. 95% of these businesses have really, and I mean really, bad images. We are the solution to this. So what have we achieved so far? Well, firstly, we've been really focusing on creating a superior product. We launched an entrepreneurial community and secured 100 free users purely for beta testing and validation. We then, for further validation, conducted a test with a small group of people and found that 90% of them bought into a one-time payment of $75, proving that people are willing to depart money for this. Our next steps would be, to, would, would be to launch on Product Hunt with our early adopter offer and then go and release our freemium subscription model. We will secure 50,000 users by a 12-month period. For this, we are currently raising 150,000 pounds in return for equity in our business. The money will primarily be used in sales and marketing, further development, and hiring key talent. One of our biggest strategies is to tap into the world of influencers. There are plenty of e-commerce and Amazon experts who sell premium programs to a large audience, and if we can tap into that market, we can expect a high adoption. We are Glorify, and we help people sell products. Thank you, and let me delight you with a quick demo. So I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with Dracula over here. I just got him earlier. I took a picture with him, actually, with my smartphone, and I uploaded it into my platform. So I'll go ahead and pick a product type of image. And from here, I'll go select a category. In this instance, I think the dark category will be the best suited for Dracula over here. So let's see what we've got. So give it a moment. 
internet is just a bit slow. Apologies, guys. Let me just quickly refresh that. Oh, there we go. OK, so again, I'll just go pick my dark category. And we'll have a bunch of templates that are focused around this type of category. So hello. Oh, there we go. That was nerve wracking. OK, so we've got our, uh, you know, a Gothic uh, home template. I think this is the perfect match. I'll open up. And as you can see, all our templates are bundled for every platform. You can find any platform going from Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all of your marketing, marketing channels for an e-commerce brand. In this instance, I'll go ahead and select my HD banner. HD banner would go on something such as a website. So I've got a placeholder product here. I'll go simply select it, replace it with the Dracula picture that I took earlier with my smartphone. As you can see, anyone can really take a picture like this. It's quite easy. I'll go ahead and open my magical background remover because it's incomplete if you just have a background on the image. So let's see if we can remove this in a couple of seconds. I'm confident we can. I hope you guys start too. Let's try this. OK, so we'll draw a few simple green lines. I mean, I think anyone can do this. Uh, my 12-year-old cousin can do this, I'm sure, and he's pretty dumb. So <laughs> and this shouldn't go out to the public anyway. So like, OK, let's draw a quick red line. And there we go. Perfect. I think that is quite an accurate pro uh, crop. I'll go ahead and add that to my template. Awesome. I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, it's an accurate crop, but I'm not really happy with the colors. So let's see if we can make it a bit more colorful. Texylvania, how convenient. Let's add the brand colors, Texylvania, and keep regenerating I until we find a result that's a bit good. Like I think this one makes the product pop, so let's use this. We'll go ahead and give it a bit of a natural shadow as well. I mean, the product needs to really feel like it's standing on the surface. So here's the shadow. We'll increase the blurriness, a bit of opacity. I think you know, just doing a few tweaks like this is a no-brainer, really. Uh, excellent. So I mean, let's customize the text. So this product I will be selling under my own brand name as Glorified Dracula. <laughs> excellent. So next up, I think it's a bit incomplete. If you're using the Textylvania lo uh, branding, we should really ideally add the Textylvania logo as well. So there we go. That's perfect. And you know what, guys? I'm actually selling this product. So if anyone wants to meet me later on, this is going to be on offer backstage. You can come find me later. I think you know, 150K sounds about right for this bad boy here. So come see me later. Uh, so yeah, 150K, I think this banner is ready. We're ready to go public on our e-commerce store. And this is a finished banner. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the demo. I will take any questions, please. Cool. Question number one, what, what e-commerce tools do you support? So we support pretty much any tool. We've catered all the templates for Amazon. Uh, and then you have the DIY solutions such as Shopify, Woo, uh, et cetera. And those uh, have specific sizes and banners, so we've got them as well. We, on our roadmap, we are soon to uh, release a share tool that will upload the templates directly to those sites. Because that was my next question. Can you batch stuff? So a batch type of process would be good for an enterprise company, right? So we're first targeting entrepreneurs, because these are the, uh, the, the customer base that are uh, selling on steroids, if you will, right? Yeah. And then we will target enterprise afterwards. Got it. Because I guess it could still be, I mean, many different SKUs and different pictures, and you do one and you just like batch it. Of course, yeah. And that the, would work quite well. And the last question can, can, you, can you create custom templates? Like, uh, or the templates are the templates? Yeah, so the templates are the templates. You can start from scratch, if yeah. you like, a blank canvas. People usually select templates, but all the templates are categorized into niche and themes anyway. It's to make it for people who don't have design skills. But if you want, you have design skills, great. Gotcha. Thank you. No worries. The investment that you require there, um, when do you believe you are going to break even based on the number of customers that you acquire? And the second question is, 
why would not, you did not speak about why not using a standard solution like Adobe? I, I get it, but I wanted you to explain it. Okay, so the first question is when our break-even point is. So we've calculated that in our financial forecast in a 24-month period. We've got a detailed uh, financial forecast document, and I can show you that after during the break if, you're, if you prefer. Uh, in terms of the other question, in terms of other tools, yes, I mean, there's plenty of tools. Adobe, too complex. No one with a, who's an entrepreneur can be bothered to learn all these complex skills. And then you have like other tools like Canva, DIY solutions that I showed you earlier, simple, similar tools. But again, those are very generic. You know, so all the templates, they're not product focused, they're not e-commerce focused. If you want to create a flyer, uh, a, a birthday card for your grandmother, Canva is great. Uh, a flyer for your event, it's great. So pretty much everything and anything. Um, but yeah. Are you using the background on of these tools, or is from scratch the product that you built here? No, we, brought, we built it from scratch. We do have some API-specific tools that we've incorporated, but I think a lot of softwares now include APIs for uh, okay. integrating with other systems. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Oh, looks like a nice product, and this was excellent demo. Thank you. I wonder, and you have many templates inside, I wonder how long it took to be developed, and did you develop it internally? Yes, yeah, so uh, I was previously an agency, a uh, design agency, helping e-commerce businesses, in fact. We stopped the agency now, but during that process, we were uh, building this product, on, uh, product and now we're full-time working on it. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, that's how we build up all the templates within a two-year period, I'd say. Uh, because I didn't spot the CTO in your team, so I was wondering who is yeah. working on the technology internally in the team. So we have a part-time CTO at the moment, and, uh, and we're looking to get him on board full-time soon. Any other questions? No. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. No more questions? Thank you.